Hey guys, it's Charles Jaeger with premiumbeat.com. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at the free GoPro VR plugins that work with 360 footage in Premiere Pro. Using these plugins, we can create the cool overcapture look you've probably seen in a lot of the GoPro 360 promotional videos, including the Tiny Planet and a lot of other customized looks. Alright guys, you may have recently seen that GoPro released a 360 camera called Fusion, and to go along with that camera they've released some free software, which includes a standalone application which is just for the Fusion camera only, but they also released some free plugins that work with Premiere Pro and After Effects, and those work with any 360 footage as long as it's in the equirectangular format, which is the most common format for 360 footage, looks like the world map view unfolded there. So we're going to be taking a look at those effects that are in Premiere Pro. And I'll have a link on the blog post for this tutorial where you can go and download the free GoPro VR plugins. And I'll also have some 360 footage available that you can download and follow along with as well. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro. Alright guys, after you've downloaded and installed the GoPro VR plugins, a quick way to bring them up, just come down here to the effects panel. And I'm just going to type in GoPro VR. And if we look down here, you're going to see the three GoPro VR effects. We have the horizon, layers, and reframe. I'm going to go through each one of those. Now, two of these effects are a little bit redundant for what's available now with the immersive video VR effects in Premiere Pro CC 2018, but I'll go over them anyway. But the real creative one we want to look at today is the GoPro VR reframe effect, and that is what allows us to essentially create overcapture style videos very quickly, again, with any 360 footage. So I'm going to run through these first two really quickly, and then we're going to get to the overcapture effect. So you can see here, I've got some 360 footage already added into my timeline. And this is just a 360 camera mounted on top of a Jeep. It's kind of mounted above it. And you can see the front of the Jeep here as it drives down a dirt road. Now, right now it's in the eco rectangular format. This is already after it's been stitched together. And again, the telltale sign with that is it'll be a two to one aspect ratio typically. And you'll have this distortion at the top and the bottom areas of the video. Now a cool feature in Premiere Pro is you can actually toggle the VR display to kind of give you a 360 view. And you can do that with this little icon here. If you don't see that icon, just click on this plus icon and then just select toggle VR display, drag and drop it into this bar, click OK. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And now you can see a 360 view, you can click and drag around. Now the default, it's in this square aspect ratio, which I don't really like very much. So just come down here to this little wrench icon, click that, and then go to VR video and then select settings, and that'll pop up these settings and just drag the horizontal view all the way over to 180, click OK. And now we have more of a widescreen type format we can look at our 360 video from. And again, to toggle this on and off, just click on the little toggle VR icon. Now the first GoPro VR effect is the GoPro VR horizon effect. I'm just gonna select and apply that to my 360 footage. And this is really similar to the VR Rotate Sphere effect that's available under the Immersive Video Effects in Premiere Pro now. We'll go ahead and take a look at it. So you can see here, under GoPro VR Horizon, we have the yaw, pitch, and roll. And this just allows us to realign our 360 footage seamlessly. You can see I can adjust you know, where the starting point is on our video. And if I need to level anything off, I can do that with the pitch and the roll effect here. You can see if my footage came in, if it was a little bit off axis, I could realign the horizon line using this GoPro VR Horizon effect. It's a pretty standard core 360 effect, but we can use this in correlation with the reframe effect a little bit later to get some cool results. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that effect for now. Now the next effect is the VR layers effect. And what this allows us to do is essentially add in text and logos or other images and project them correctly for 360 video. So I've got some text here that I've already added into the sequence and I'll just go ahead and move it over. You can see this is just some normal Premiere Pro text that I've added in here. And if we actually go ahead and look at this in the VR preview, we don't have anything else applied to it. So you're gonna see the text is getting wrapped around the sphere. It doesn't look flat. So it's not really being projected correctly. So we can correct this using the GoPro VR layers effect. So I'm gonna select my text and I'm gonna select the GoPro VR layers effect and just drag it onto it. And you're gonna see the text is gonna get resized but we can go ahead and adjust that with the field of view right here. And you can see as I increase that, it's gonna kind of apply some distortion to the text. So it looks a little bit weird from this perspective, but this is being mapped correctly for 360 video. So now let's go back into the toggle VR view. And now if we look at this, you're gonna see the text now appears flat. And again, we can rescale it here with the field of view. So you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. Now the GoPro VR layers effect is very similar to the VR plane to sphere effect that's also available in Premiere Pro CC 2018 already. 
And you can see we have some other options here. We can adjust the yaw, so we can adjust the position of the text in 360. We can adjust the pitch of the text. We wanna put it at the bottom. And you can see when we do that, it's gonna apply the correct distortion for this so that it looks correct in this view. So I can move this up a little bit here, maybe to the front of the Jeep. So now let's take a look at the core of the GoPro VR effects, and that is the GoPro VR reframe effect. And this is gonna essentially allow us to create an overcapture video with any 360 footage. So in order to apply this, what you actually wanna do is you actually don't wanna apply it to a regular 360 composition like this. You can see this is a two to one aspect ratio, so it's not 16 by nine. And we just wanna apply this to a regular 16 by nine composition, such as standard HD footage. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna create a new sequence. And I'm just gonna select this default DSLR 1080p at 30 frames per second. And we'll just name this sequence Overcapture. And I'm gonna click OK. So now what I wanna do is I wanna drag in some 360 footage. So I'll just select that same shot, drag it in. And when you do that in Premiere now, you're gonna get a pop-up and ask you if you wanna change this. You just wanna go ahead and select Keep Existing Settings. So right now our preview may look a little bit odd because again, our footage is 360 and it's in 4K and we're working with a 1080p composition. But with that footage selected, I'm gonna go ahead and select the GoPro VR reframe effect and drag it onto it. And the first option we have here is the field of view. And you can think of this as your camera lens field of view. So I can actually drag this up and down. You can see how I can basically change how much I can actually see in this composition. So if I wanted to zoom in here, you can see I can zoom in. And now if we go ahead and play this, this just looks like a standard video. It's a little bit shaky again because we're driving down a dirt road. But I can pull this out, maybe have more of a wide angle view. Or if we wanted like an ultra wide angle view, I could pull this really far back and you can see you kind of get this surreal wide angle view, which again is an over capture style perspective where we're getting just a really ultra wide from that 360 footage, but it's being projected back on normal video. Where this really gets powerful is the option to adjust the yaw and the pitch here. So I'm actually gonna pull this back. And if I come down here to the pitch and I adjust this, if I move this down to 90 degrees, you can see we're already kind of getting that tiny planet look and I can go ahead and adjust the field of view. I can pull this really far back. And now if I go ahead and play this, bring you that really cool trippy over capture style perspective that you've probably seen in a lot of the GoPro promotional videos. And so again, just by applying this effect and tweaking the pitch, we're able to create that tiny planet really quickly on any 360 footage. And again, using the field of view option, you can adjust how much you actually wanna see. So if we pull it all the way back, you can see the planet is just really tiny there, but you could zoom in and keyframe all these different options too. So we could have this looking down at the Jeep, I could keyframe the pitch here and I can move down in time and I could have this go back to zero. So it's more of a traditional view. So it could go from the tiny planet now into a more traditional view but what's also cool down here is we have this smooth transition effect. So right now it's just gonna be more of a linear change from this to this. But if we go ahead and increase the smooth transition here to 100, it's gonna smooth out, kind of easing automatically between these two frames. Let's go ahead and preview this now. So you can see it kind of sticks on that downward view at first and it kind of eases into the other view there. And that's the benefit of the smooth transition. And this would also apply if we went ahead and changes to another perspective as well. So I can go ahead and keyframe the field of view here. And I'll just move down and have that be a little bit more zoomed in. And then I'll move back to the very beginning. I'm actually gonna pull the field of view out a little bit more here, so it's really small. So let's go ahead and preview this now. And so that can kind of give you an idea of how that would work. But what's great about keyframing this is we can keyframe from one of these overcapture views like the tiny planet and then just move seamlessly right into more of a traditional type view that we're used to seeing. All right, so I've got another 360 shot here and this has a little cart drive past on the 360 footage. And what we can actually do with the VR reframe effect from GoPro, I'm gonna apply that to the footage. We can keyframe this so it looks like a traditional camera and it's just following the cart as it drives past. So I'm gonna zoom in on the field of view here and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the yaw really quickly. So I'm just gonna center that up and I'm gonna go ahead and move that back to the beginning. I'm gonna create a keyframe on the yaw and I'm gonna move down just as this moves past near the end and I'll go ahead and adjust the rotation here. So now I'll go ahead and play this back. It looks like just traditional video. It doesn't necessarily look like a 360 shot. And again, this is kind of one of the overcapture style features where you can follow a subject on your 360 footage. And if we wanted to, we could do a really crazy wide angle view as well. 
and I would follow it like this. Obviously something else we could do as well, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that keyframe for the yaw and click OK. I'm gonna zoom this back out really wide and we can go ahead and set this back to zero. And for the pitch, instead of doing 90 and creating a tiny planet, I'm gonna zoom this back even further. We can go the opposite direction, do negative 90, and it's more of like an inverted kind of tunnel. And we can go ahead and keyframe this as well with the field of view. But you can see now it looks like the car just kind of driving up the sides of the tunnel. So that's a really cool perspective. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick overview of the GoPro VR plugins that are available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Again, I'll have a link for those where you can download them on the blog post of this tutorial. Also, make sure you guys check out the music tracks that are available on Premium Beat. They're adding new music every week to keep up with the latest trends. All right guys, it's been Charles Jaeger for PremiumBeat.com. Thanks for watching.